वेलकम लेट्स बिगिन विद अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दैट लॉट ऑफ यू हैव इन माइंड हाउ टू राइट अ रिसर्च प्रपोजल सो रिसर्च रिपोर्टिंग इज समथिंग दैट वी वुड बी टॉकिंग अबाउट टूडे नाउ आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग ऑफ योर रिसर्च वॉट इज द मेन क्वेश्चन डज माई रिसर्च हैज ओरिजनैलिटी how can i basically write it what are the rules and regulations that i need to follow what is the way in which the content needs to be organized and all these questions are something that we would be addressing today now when we are writing a thesis or a dissertation now the difference between thesis and dissertation we have already talked about in a separate lecture so you can refer that whenever you are writing a thesis and an or a dissertation the content needs to be much more elaborate you have to write in a very comprehensive manner but on the other hand if you are writing for let's say a journal article a uh, paper to, to be published in a magazine or a kind of article that you are writing for all those the information must be precise and a concise information that you should provide so the way of organizing your information would differ again a very important thing to note is what kind of research it is whether it's a quantitative research or a qualitative research your organization of information would differ based on your methodology would differ based on whether it's a quantitative research or a qualitative research so we'll focus on these one by one we'll first take the quantitative research then we'll talk about qualitative research and then we'll talk about for a journal article or a paper presentation how you should go forward first of all we talk about the preliminary pages now this preliminary information would remain the same for quantitative as well as qualitative studies what you need to have a first title page that would be provided now this title page would have a title the topic of the research that you would be doing the degree requirements that you are submitting to the name of the university your name your supervisor's name the name of the university and the year in which you are trying to publish and this is arranged in a uh, kind of order that is drawn here the next is you would write to acknowledge so all those uh, field research effort has been so all those you have taken the help of uh the colleagues then you are definitely the supervisor the research labs and all the things that you feel have been useful as a part of your research you would give a thanks to them and that's what is acknowledgement acknowledgement sorry then you have the supervisor certificate supervisor certificate states that this thesis has been or this dissertation has gone through uh, my eyes and i have understood uh, what the content is it's correct to uh it's it's correct to my knowledge okay then you have the table of content and that's what we would start uh, from the next section so table of content is something that's very very important and this differs in case of qualitative and quantitative studies you have a list of table and list of figures now this is a kind of additional information that is given in order if you directly want to switch on to or go on to a uh, certain uh, figure or a certain table you can directly go from the list of table or the list of pages you would have the corresponding name of the table and the corresponding page information that would be given there so these are preliminary pages common for quantitative as well as qualitative research i repeat the next is the format of a quantitative research the main body now you would have an introduction for a quantitative research what all introduction you would include firstly there would be a theoretical framework you would have why you need to study for this what is the problem that you are trying to address uh you would define certain terms that are difficult uh, for a common person to understand then you would lay down the objectives based on those objectives you would have a tentative solution in the mind and that would be your hypothesis towards the end uh, in your results you would see whether you are uh, going or accepting the hypothesis or you are rejecting the hypothesis you would understand the scope of the study and delimitations of the study now this we have already talked about in our separate lecture 
and finally why this study is important and how future researchers can gain from this study the next is review of related literature which is also known as state of art here what you would be doing is you would be referring the related material the related research that has been already done in that field and based on that what extra you could give in your research and how different your research would be that you would try to bring out then you would have the methodology this methodology section is a predominant section that would be different in quantitative and qualitative studies. In quantitative study, you would use a research design, you would have a population sample that would be there, you would be using various statistical tools and you would be analyzing that statistical information. So that's how the methodology for a quantitative study works. Then you would be analyzing the uh, data that has come up. You would be writing the results and the conclusion. Based on the conclusion, you can give forward certain recommendations. And finally, you would have a bibliography and appendix uh, as an uh, additional section for your uh, research. The next is the qualitative studies. Under qualitative studies, as we said, the preliminary pages would remain the same. Introduction you would have a uh, few important things that would be different here you would have a general problem statement that would be given and the foreshadowed pro uh, problems that could <coughs> be addressed would be given here the methodology as we said would be very very different so you would select a site you would understand the role of the researcher you would do a theoretical sampling or a purposeful purposeful sampling if can and then you would mention the various strategies for data collection uh, you the strategies and the analysis would be qualitative obviously since it's a qualitative study is much applicable for humanities you would be presenting the finding and that would be an analytical interpretation of the research that you have done finally the bibliography and the appendix would remain the same the next is for a journal article or a paper presentation how would you go forward you would have a title with the author's name and the address then you would be writing a small abstract that is the summary of your article that you are trying to put up you would have an introduction, the case area, the study area that you are trying to incorporate, what method you are applying in brief, not the whole detail as you are doing in the case of thesis or a dissertation. So you would just mention the sample, uh, the sample size, the tools that you have been using and the method that you have been applying. Straightforwardly jump on to conclusions, uh, the two results and finally the conclusion, uh, recommendations or discussions if possible and then for a journal article or a uh, paper, you give references and that's very, very important. This we have discussed in our class where we have talked about differences between bibliography and reference. So important to note, you jot down the references here. The only things that you have actually referred to. Now, what are the styles? The spelling, the grammar, the capitalization should be correct. The font size should be correct. He or she is not usually used up. Colloquial sentences are not used. We uh, avoid pronouns like I, me, active voice is avoided. Then past tense is used for or uh, the present perfect tense is used for literature review, the methodology and the results. However, when you are talking about conclusions, the recommendations you would be using, uh, uh, for recommendations you would be using future tense, for conclusions you would be using present tense. So that's something that's very very important for a style. Then very important, if you have a quote or something which is more than three lines, you would double space them and put them in the center with five, spa uh, five uh, ma uh, five spaces indented from left margin to make it a separate um, um, or basically to highlight it however if it's less than three lines you would include it in the text itself the left margin is 1.5 and the remaining as one inches uh, then you have double uh, spacing with uh, new times roman 12 size as a standard format that is being used uh, numbers which are less than 10 are written in words. That's very, very important. So this is a very, very important point that you should not miss. If you have numbers less than 10, we write those in words, not in numbers. And uh, 
Uh, so these are the basic guidelines that you must keep in mind for a research writing. So writing of a research, reporting of a research is a very, very important topic. And many of the scholars who have already qualified your net examinations are much afraid about how to write, how to present. So this was a kind of brief introduction to help you understand, help you sail through how you actually present your research, how uh, you write your research, how you report your findings. With this, we cover our class on research reporting. We'll be continuing our series on research. Uh, many more topics to go, so stay tuned. Have a wonderful day ahead.